expect that. Oh my gosh, it's like... Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. I am carnivore girl and today I want to make some muffins. I have these beautiful quail eggs and so I got this idea and I um, put that recipe together in my head. So first things first of course Oven, yes, let's preheat the oven and um, just bake 350. So, so I have some goodies here. I want to start with just um, I have some chicken breast left, cooked chicken breast, pretty um, dry. Uh, here, that's how I cook chicken breast. Um, I'm gonna just put Let's see how much. I'm just gonna put this in here. Maybe I'm not gonna use all of it. Yeah, the exact recipe, you know, will be in down in the description. So I have some cooked chicken breast, uh, maybe a tiny bit salt. Ooh, and I wanna blend this. Maybe I need, well, let's put a tiny bit of water. It's just filtered water in here, so it makes it a bit easier. Ooh. Whoa, didn't expect that. Oh my gosh, it's like, I should have done that when it uh, was still warm, when it was fresh. Or I should have at least cut it in little pieces first. It'll still work, it just takes a little bit time. So. so I already took my rings off. You know what that means. We're getting dirty. So here I really just have a little bit. I don't want too much because I don't have that much ground lamb here. I frosted some ground lamb. And uh, yeah, I just uh, work with my eyes right now, kind of that much to that much, that looks good. So this is just the blended, look, it's so cool. The blended chick uh, cooked chicken breast. And so I'm gonna add, um, this is quite fatty, fatty ground lamb. On purpose, I wanted fatty ones. So I'm just gonna add this. And what do I have here? This is eggshell flour. So um, by the way, here is the recipe. And um, I really, um, it's, it's really chalky. I mean, it's eggshells, right? It's eggshell flour. So it's just a little bit more calcium for me. I like it. It gives it even a little bit of a crunch. 
because uh, I have a little bit bigger pieces in here, but you really don't want to use a lot, otherwise it gets like um, chalky. So I, re I really just, so. Ah, uh, yeah, every time I'm like, okay, a tiny bit more. It's only, okay, let's leave it, really, just a tiny bit to give it a bit of, um, as I said, uh, there's like a certain crunch to it and just some calcium. Maybe this time we won't feel the crunch. Uh, salt, of course. Um, which kind of salt? Uh, let's take Himalayan pink salt. Mix it. Mix it well. So I forgot to prepare my uh, cupcake, tin, muffin, uh, however you call this sheet. Um, I like those here, so the aluminum ones. Uh, how many do I need? Um, I don't think I have enough for all of them. Okay, now I want to just fill them in here. I'm like thinking maybe we don't even need a muffin form. We could just do it like this. Now I want it. Oh yeah, that's good. I like that. So the oven is preheated. I heard it. Now um, the chicken is cooked in here. I love lamb raw. So I actually don't want it to get all the way done. Um, it's a middle rack, uh, 350 preheated. Put it in the middle here. And um, I think I'm gonna check, I would say 20 minutes, but I think I'm gonna check after 15 minutes. So the 15 minutes are over. Feel free to let them in much longer, of course. I'm actually gonna change, as a turn the oven off and put it to broil high now. Well, I wanna take these out, so. Now it is um, preheating to broil, so it, ma it makes the oven even hotter. And ooh, yeah, ooh, they look actually quite cool. Actually, I'm, I'm almost scared 15 minutes is too long for me. No, I didn't forget the quail eggs. So I actually want to put a quail egg, well, without the shell, on top now, one each. But of course they got like nicely round. They actually look really nice. But um, I wanna, can I, Ooh, maybe, I just need to make some, <laughs> of course it's super juicy. So I just wanna, yeah, I think that looks good. Yep. <laughs> kind of cut a piece out. Okay, so I managed to make holes everywhere and I also poured out all the liquid, the juices that it already created. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm doing that right here. It's like a quail egg and Let's try to kind of, I actually wanted to more like put it on it, but now it gets in it. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's try that one. So what, what I learned is with a quail egg, now when I push here, it like almost explodes. It like squirts out. So I really want to, okay, now it's open. I think I already damaged that yolk here. So that's good. I actually want the white, the egg white. Why is this like so attached to that? The egg white uh, on top. Of, yeah, I already damaged this yolk. Ugh. Of course. Let's try another one. Oh, yeah, I think that one is good. Yes. They're harder to open than regular eggs. They, um, you have to, um, I say, do that a little bit harder because the, the shell is much harder, I feel. Of course, not too hard. Oh. 
So I managed to put an egg on top of each of one somehow. And it's funny that um, I put eggshell flour in those because in, um, underneath this yolk here are like so many little eggshells from that one here. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I got four. I hope they stay. So you, um, I'm gonna try to put that a little bit more up again. So you, ooh, it actually works. It's not gonna stay probably. So you remember the oven is on broil high now. So I'm going to put those back in the oven a little bit higher up, just like one higher up um, to, yeah, get the egg grilled. Oh, ooh, I almost forgot. Um, here, Aliyah red Hawaiian sea salt. Just want to put a little bit of that on top. So I put the rack one higher up. And now I'm gonna put those in here underneath the broiler and just one to two minutes, probably just one minute. I actually left it in two, two and a half minutes. And yeah, look, that one is still raw. Um, those of course are totally done. That one is like perfect. I think I actually, I, I like raw. Well, no, actually the white, it's sad. It's not like, but they look, they look cool. I like it. And it, it's, it's totally cool when this one is actually really cool too. So I like it. And here you have it. I actually like it how they turned out. Cool. So, oh, and of course here I have the pieces I cut out of, whatever. I'm gonna eat that too, of course. And um, so usually I start as a, I start eating with the um, ugliest, but which one is the ugliest? I mean, um, I also like the ones that the egg yolk already popped. They're all so cool. It's art, hopefully still raw. Ooh, now I know where most of the egg white went. You see it? <laughs> it's here. <gasps> okay, good to know. Well, I'm gonna eat that too, of course. Oh, and I found. Well, maybe that's the one where um, all the eggshell pieces are in it. I oh, will see. Okay. Aguita. Maybe it'll get messy. Well, my makeup is already messed up. Already smeared. Mmm! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm. The yolk is still raw. All over my finger here and in there. the eggshell I put in into the mix I mean that was eggshell flour when I get the when I get to the one that has like eggshell pieces in it I will taste those <laughs> but so that's actually perfect if I don't taste the eggshell flour oh yeah so a little bit I actually like but that's good um, of course I taste the lamb the lamb is really delicious it is almost all the way done. So for me, I should have left them in probably 10 minutes and then do all that stuff. But um, yeah, so I don't advise you to leave it in more than 15 minutes and then put the eggs on top. Um, 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 the chicken in there, do I taste that? So it's funny, I don't really taste the chicken. I was like, oh, there's chicken. But I do taste it that it's not just lamb. And the lamb is like the flavor is not so strong because of the chicken that um, it like tempered it down. So it's, it's really good. Because of that blended chicken, I feel it, it made it a bit denser, you know? It's like, um, yeah, but, but not in a bad way. It's actually just more 
so for me so many times I don't put in too much um, enough salt in it okay servos thanks for watching if you try out this recipe please tag me and let me know how you like it subscribe share like comment follow me on Instagram at carnivore girl see you next week in my next episode of carnivore girls creative carnivore kitchen no plants no dairy the next level cooking show